and reveals he's learned a lot from Mikel Arteta. Declan Rice believes Arsenal are not far off winning the title, and that he has learned a lot since switching from West Ham to the Gunners earlier this month. After widespread speculation, Rice finally completed his £105 million move to the Emirates at the start of July, and now he is eager to spearhead Arsenal's charge to try and take Man City's crown as Premier League winners. In an interview with Sky Sports News from Los Angeles, Rice said, I think it's time now. You know Arsenal under Mikel have won community shields, FA Cups, but I think now, this is a massive club, it's constant pressure of delivering titles and it's been such a long time now since Arsenal won the Premier League. Last year was so close, I feel like we're better off now this year, learning from that experience. I think that's definitely a target and of course you're in the Champions League, you go into the Champions League to win, you don't go into it just to take part. There's always a narrative around Arsenal that they're not going to win the Premier League or they haven't been good enough. But I didn't see it in that way at all. I see it in a way that Arteta has improved the squad every year. The players have improved individually. Everyone's gone up another level and when I spoke to Mikel about the way he wanted me to play, where he sees me playing and the vision he has for Arsenal. For me it is really exciting now to be a part of this project that Arsenal can get back to the big time and win some trophies. Rice is in the USA with his new teammates as they ramp up preparations for the forthcoming campaign, with the Gunners aiming to go one better than their second-placed finish last season. Despite West Ham's valuation of £105 million for Raya's services, the midfielder said, I've not really thought about the price tag once, and hopes to repay that across the six years he is contracted to Arsenal. He admitted that working under Arteta was a learning curve. Rice said, I'm already seeing football in a completely different way. You think you know football growing up and when you play, but when you meet managers like Mikel, you realize you don't really know anything about football. However, he says he is eager to learn to improve, to ask questions, to do one-to-one -one training to improve and try and get it as quickly as possible. Arsenal have friendlies remaining against Barcelona and Monaco in the coming week, before the Community Shield against Manchester City on August 6. The following Saturday, Arsenal start their 2023-24's Premier League season at home to Nottingham Forest, the side who beat them in the penultimate week of last season to give Pep Guardiola's side the title. Arsenal, set to complete deal for Brazilian midfielder Botelho, as the Gunners look to continue summer shopping spree with £6.8 million move. Arsenal are closing in on a deal for Brazilian midfielder Botelho, as the Gunners continue their summer shopping spree. Mikel Arteta has already wrapped up deals for Jurian Timber, Kai Havertz and Declan Rice so far in this transfer window, as the club try to carry on the momentum that saw them finish second in the Premier League last season. Now, according to Tuttomercado Webb, the North London side are set sign Gremio midfielder Botello for a fee of around £6.8 million, despite the club initially looking for a fee of £8.5 million. The Brazilian has been on the club's radar for some time and is now looks like the Gunners are ready to recruit the 23-year-old. It has been reported that Botello would be heading to Italy, with several Serie A sides interested in the midfielder, but it looks as though Arsenal have jumped the queue. Botello has been with Gremio since 2021 and made 50 appearances for the club, scoring 11 goals. Director of Football Adu is thought to have used his links to South American football to secure the transfer of the box-to-box -box midfielder, who would be the latest young Brazilian to head to the Emirates. Botelho would follow in the footsteps of Gabriel Martinelli and Marquinhos in moving to Arsenal from Brazil, and both have enjoyed a successful pathway to the Gunners' first team. Arsenal are currently on a preseason tour of the USA, where they have already beaten an MLS side 5-0 and suffered a 2-0 defeat to Man UTD in a somewhat competitive friendly between the old rivals. They complete the tour with a clash against Barcelona tomorrow, before heading home to prepare for next month's Community Shield against Man City.